In this video, we will discuss what is Hall's theorem, then the conditions to satisfy Hall's theorem, then we will do a problem on Hall's theorem. For drawing a graph, there will be x-axis and y-axis, where y is a function of x, that means as x varies, y also varies. Supposing that we have we have a function like this, okay? This is the function f of x. In interval, at this point it is, I am going to mark it as a. And at this point it is going, I am going to mark it as b. So in interval a to b, it is in x axis, okay? That means x equal to a and x equal to b. To satisfy Wall's theorem, the first condition is the function should be continuous in closed interval a b. So this is our interval a b. The function should be continuous. So these are some examples of discontinuous function. See here there is a point of discontinuity. This is the interval a. This is the interval b. But in between a and b there is a point of discontinuity. Here also this is the interval a and this is the interval b. Here is a point of discontinuity. So these are example of discontinuous function. So Rolle's theorem will not be applicable for these functions. To satisfy Rolle's theorem, the function should be continuous in closed interval a, b. So including a and b, the function should be continuous. Now the second condition, the function should be differentiable in open interval a, b. Open interval, we will put the parenthesis or round bracket. For closed interval, we will put square bracket. To identify whether the function is differentiable, if we are able to find slope, if we are able to find slope, here also we can find slope, here also we can find slope. If you are able to find slope, then that function will be differentiable. This is an example of function f of x equal to mod x. At x equal to 0, there are no slopes. So this function is not differentiable. In this function, at this point, if you are finding slope, we will get vertical slope. Vertical slope means the slope will be infinity. So in this case also, function is not differentiable. Actually slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Here at this point the value of x2 and x1 are same. That means same value then it will be 0. So 1 by anything divided by 0 it will be infinity. So slope will be infinity. So this function is also not differentiable. Now the third condition is f of a equal to f of b. This is point a. So this here it will be f of a. This is point b. So in the y axis it will be f of b. So when f of a equal to f of b, then that condition is also satisfied. At point a, we are getting value f of a. At point b, we are getting value f of b. Both f of a and f of b are equal, then Rolle's theorem is applicable. For a function, if these three conditions are satisfied, then there exists a point in between this interval a and b. There exists a point c, where f dash of c equal to 0 f dash of 0 means slope will be 0. Slope is 0 for straight lines. That means at this point slope is 0. So this is the point C. So these three are the condition. Function should be continuous in closed interval a, b. Function should be differentiable in open interval a, b. Then if f of a equal to f of b, then there exists a point C in between a and b where f dash of c equal to 0. That means slope equal to 0. So this is our question. f of x equal to x square plus 2x. Find all values of c in interval minus 2 comma 0 such that f dash of c equal to 0. First of all we need to check our given function satisfy all three conditions. Since our function is a quadratic function it is always continuous. All quadratic and polynomial functions will be continuous. Quadratic means it is of the form ax square plus bx plus c. Polynomial means there will not be negative powers. If there is a negative power, it is not a polynomial equation. If there are positive integers as the power, it is a polynomial equation. So, quadratic functions and polynomial functions will be always continuous. Suppose if our function is like this, 1 by x, then at x equal to 0, the value will be 1 by 0, it is infinity. So, it is not a continuous graph. Here it is not a continuous function. But all quadratic functions and polynomial functions are continuous. Since our given function is a quadratic function, f of x is continuous. First condition satisfied. 
now we need to check the second condition second condition means is this function differentiable yes of course it is differentiable we can differentiate x square d by dx of x square it is 2x d by dx of 2x it is 2 this function is a quadratic function or polynomial functions are also differentiable so the second condition is also satisfied f of x is differentiable f of x is differentiable in open interval okay in open interval a b we need to put this round bracket for continuity f of x is continuous in closed interval in square bracket a b after satisfying these two conditions we need to check the third condition that is f of a equal to f of b what is a and b in the interval we can see the first element it is a the second element it is b so first of all we need to find f of a this is our f of x so f of a means a the value it is minus 2 a is minus 2 so we need to find f of minus 2 so wherever there is x replace with minus 2 so instead of x i am going to write minus 2 square plus 2 into minus 2 so minus 2 square it is 4 plus 2 into minus 2 it will be minus 4 so 4 minus 4 it will be 0 so f of a it is 0 now our b value is 0 b equal to 0 we need to find f of b so wherever there is x replace it with 0 so it will become 0 square plus 2 into 0 it will be 0 so the value f of b will be 0 so thus we got f of a and f of b as equal now all the three conditions of all's theorem are satisfied then there will be a point c in the interval a comma b here a comma b is minus 2 comma 0 such that f dash of c equal to 0 so we need to find f dash of c that means first derivative f dash of x it is x square d by dx of x square it is 2x plus d by dx of 2x it will be 2 now f dash of c so wherever there is x replace with c that means f dash of c it is 2c plus 2 according to Rolle's theorem that f dash of c is equal to 0 that means 2c plus 2 equal to 0 that is 2c equal to minus 2 c equal to minus 2 divided by 2 it is going to be minus 1 thus we found the value of c as minus 1 where minus 1 belongs to it is in between minus 2 and 0 is it so minus 2 belong minus 1 belongs to minus 2 comma 0 thus we found the value of c now it's your turn do this problem f of x equal to x square minus 6x plus 5 and find all the values of c in interval 2 comma 4 such that f dash of c equal to 0 give the answer in the comment section